Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video we talked about sessions and we created this new file called session.php inside our includes folder. It should be right there. Check it out. Session start. Okay, but what we need to do now is we need to put this on our faculty page. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open up our faculty page right here. Let's just go ahead and go to the top. Let me just put it above this. Look at that. Okay. And what else do I want to do? We could do something kind of cool right here. Welcome to the staff area. Let's go ahead and echo our session that we just created. We'll call it PHP. Echo uh, session, uh oh, caps locked. And we're going to index our username, lowercase though. And let's go ahead and close that out just like that. Okay, we got our p tag. We'll put a period right there. And let's go ahead and save that. Now, what did we, what did I create my user to log in as? So we'll go to my login. Username, I think it was just Billy and Billy. Billy, Billy, whatever you use to log in, just go ahead and use that for your username and your password. Welcome to the staff area, Billy. Okay, so now this is dynamic. So that's kind of cool. Um, a little bit more personal that this code right here, the Billy we created is this piece of dynamic PHP that we just created right then in there. And again, I'm not going to talk about um, the difference between session and cookies. They are kind of the same thing, but cookies gives up a little bit too much information. So, you know, when you're on like Facebook, and you go back to your browser and you log in. It already said it already has like your email address in there. That's cookies. Sessions is kind of like that. It's it's used for uh, transferring data, just like uh, post and our get variables, except that it doesn't display that information. It's on the it's on the 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 server side, not the user side. So that's why we're using um, session as opposed to cookie cookie. So don't use, um, sorry, don't use cookie for our CMS. It's just, it's just, it's just better security because if we had cookie right there and somebody did log in and they went to our page. If cookies was set, it would already be like whatever their um, village park at gmail.com would already be saved there inside their website. So go ahead and stick with cookie for this one or session for this one. I apologize. Good luck with this and we will continue our security in the next video.